Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Caleb. Um, I haven't done a real estate market update video in a while, but I just wanted to show you guys what's going around in the Parker, Colorado area. Um, today is November 10th, 2020, so the election is over and we're heading into the holidays. Um, the market is still really hot in Colorado. Um, we're going to take a look, like I said, just in the Parker, Castle Rock kind of areas, because uh, that's where I live and that's where I do most of my business. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is anything that's under 400000 which as far as single family homes, you don't get a whole lot um, in that. I mean, we'll just take a look at Parker, for example. Really, there's maybe 12 listings, 15. Um, these are all probably going to be your townhomes, condo units. Yep, yeah, so Waterhouse Circle, I actually sold a condo in there. Those are going for, wow, 316 almost. Uh, There's one for 215. Um, but these are very old little condos in that particular building I'm familiar with. So as you guys can see, looking underneath 400,000 is pretty tough, at least in uh, Douglas County. We can scroll down a little bit to Castle Rock as well, but you'll also find here not a whole lot to pick from. Uh, mostly townhouses and condo units is what you're going to get. So just something to be aware of if you guys are in the market and you're qualified for 400 or below, probably going to be looking at um, some sort of attached housing. So let's go ahead and bump up our price range to, let's say, 750 And that gives us about 1,300 matches. So this is where your single-family homes are going to be more in that range. Um, as you'll see, we'll have a lot more dots. A lot of stuff, it looks like, for sale up in Centennial. Um, looks like you can get into a single-family home under under four, uh, under 500. Oh, some of those areas up in Littleton. Um, don't do a ton of business up there. But you'll see even, yeah, Parker, some stuff in that range. Uh, obviously, this is kind of varied. It's pretty variable. A lot of new homes are coming in right here off of Crowfoot Valley. Um, they're putting in all sorts of new housing developments in there. I think it's going to be like something like 3,000 new single-family homes. Um, if you're looking for land, really in Douglas County, you're you're going to be kind of in a tough spot. Uh, so you might want to look out more towards like Elizabeth, Kiowa, those kind of areas. Um, and that one's only on a quarter of an acre. But there are a couple in Ponderosa Park I've viewed that are on about an acre. Uh, like this one, we actually viewed that with some buyers. So that's kind of what we're looking at in that range. And then if we go, let's say 750 plus, um, Douglas County, uh, if you're not familiar with it, was one of the richest counties in the United States uh, for a long time. I don't know if it's still in the top five. I believe it is. Um, so you almost have, within that bubble, we've got about 959 listings that are above 750,000. So you'll see in Parker a lot of luxury homes, a lot of million dollar plus. That one, for examples, that one's four million, four and a half million, cool four and a half million. So definitely, uh, definitely on your bigger side. That's a very beautiful house, though. Um, if you'd like to buy that one, please call me. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, if you have questions about buying or selling real estate in uh, Parker and Castle Rock, Elizabeth, uh, really any of Douglas, Elver counties, El Paso County, which is the Springs, uh, feel free to give me a call. Uh, my number's down below in the description box. And uh, reach out to me and let me know how I can help you with your real estate needs. Till, till we speak again, this is Caleb with uh, HomeSmart, and you have a good one.